Yeah. Hell I'm not really quite sure. I think it's 11 something. So good afternoon. It is Friday the 22nd. It is our fourth show of Beauty and the Beast today. So as promised in my last vlog, I will be vlogging for the last three performances of Beauty and the Beast. So yeah, that's kind of my intro. I just filmed for my first show tune Sunday. So I will edit that and schedule it to be uploaded on Sunday. I'm thinking of just doing scheduled uploads for Showtune Sunday at 12 p.m., like so noon, my time, and it'll just make it easier. I won't have to worry about it and worry that I'm not I'm going to miss an upload if I just edit it and upload it and schedule it and then bam it's done that's what I do with my whiz vlog and it was so low stress and it was really great so that's my intro and I will see you guys later <laughs> I'm just really excited to be back on the vlogs. <laughs> I can't zoom that I'm way. excited to be on a vlog. You were in my Rake's Progress I vlog. Last, I was in a vlog during class this year, but like my, my prime vlog time was last year during working. Oh, working. Mm. God, rewatch those vlogs. Those were so messy. Those are so intermission I'm backstage the show is going really well we have a really great audience tonight I have my quick change is set I'm ready to go all right good afternoon everyone it is now Saturday um, it's almost one o'clock I woke up around 1130 I started editing my first show tune Sunday video uh, so that'll be up tomorrow uh, last night's performance was so great we sold out I it was just it was such an amazing show and I just really love the cast of people that I'm working with after the show I met this little girl who was obviously of way past her bedtime and so I could see it because she had tears of exhaustion in her eyes but like she stuck it through to the end to meet to meet me to meet Belle I knelt down to talk to her and she just ran into my arms and gave me the biggest hug and I have never felt my heart swell after a show as much as it did in that moment and then like she was like we said bye and then as I was as she was in her dad's arms going to their car I look over and she's staring at me so I waved bye to her and she waved back at me and it was just such a good reminder of why I do theater why this is my career path and it, it was just so heartwarming and it was true magic that is true magic to me so yeah I just wanted to share that moment with you guys I will be vlogging again during the show today this is just gonna be a compilation vlog of all three final performances I did go to the cast party last night and it was fun we just kind of hung out and just enjoyed being with one another outside of the theater so yeah I'm about to go to the Muni to take Matt some lunch. We haven't gotten to see each other that much outside of when we saw the Wiz the other night. So, 
yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go and I will vlog. All over. right, we are at 10 minutes to places for show two. I'm very excited. Apparently we have almost sold out our closing night, which is tomorrow. So yeah, I will keep you guys posted throughout the show. Don't tell mama, shush, don't tell mama, don't tell mama, whatever you do, if you had a secret, you bet I could be the eye, and you'd never tell on you, I'm breaking every promise that I gave her, <laughs> before that I missed it, you are you vlogging? I'm yeah. clear, great big weaver, and please, Potato, keep from my head, <laughs> though my dance is not again so long. <laughs> you can tell my papa, that's all, because he comes in here every night. Just don't tell mama what you saw. Yes. I was trying, I missed it, but right before that, your foot caressed my arm. <laughs> really all right, good morning, guys. It's like 10.02. I just got gas at the gas station. I'm heading to our matinee performance, our final show of Beauty and the Beast. I'm very sad but also very grateful, so there will be a lot of vlogging today. And yeah, I'm going to hit the road because me and Sarah have to finish director's gifts and I want to get flowers and write some notes for people in the cast, so yeah, let's go! Miss your Hamilton. Miss your Lafayette. In command, we give it all. You say no sweater. We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Immigrants, we get the job done. So what happens if we win? I go back. It's our last interview. Women, are you okay, Trey? Honestly, I'm a beauty in the beast. I love Rachel, and she's perfect in every single way. How I feel about you. Can I say something to the people? Yeah. No. Um, this is actually just to you. I am s love you. <laughs> I'm just happy we got to work together again because working. We have I'm not sure. <laughs> I have to work with him Go first. back and watch the working vlog. Then I'll come back. Oh, I'm I'm sad though. I'm sad I don't get to see everyone every day. I'm like looking at you and not the camera. There's a difference. <laughs> Your eyes look very blue right now. Do they really? Oh wait, yeah. hey, Do I you. Pat Keeson. We're gonna end this clip here. <laughs> That's so cute. It's taller than her. Well, here we are. Um, this is the culmination. Thank you very much, everyone, for making my 300 production a wonderful production. Yay! All right, guys. It's 12:38. I showered. Um. Wow, sorry, I don't even know where to start this clip. Um, our final show was so good. I just, my heart is so very full and just so grateful for everything the show has brought me. It doesn't feel real that it's over. Um, as I wrap myself in the Beauty and the Beast blanket that Matt made me for my birthday for my 19th birthday. <laughs> um, our director Kate had us all over to her house tonight for um, a party, like a cast party, um, just like a get together where we could just celebrate everything that we did. <sighs> it was wonderful. She gave me this little dragon there's a story that goes behind it. Um, it's an amazing story. It's really personal, so I'm not going to share it. But this little guy holds so much meaning to me. And the show holds such meaning in my heart. And I'm just very grateful. I'm grateful for the friends I made in the cast, for the relationships. I've built with friends I already had and 
adults that I've already worked with who I got to work with more and my heart's just very full and very grateful and this entire process just reminded me why I love theater and why no matter how hard the career gets or whatever obstacles come in my way like why I love it and why I chose it to begin with and why every morning I wake up I continue to choose theater as what I want to do with my life. So that being said, end scene for Beauty and the Beast. I'm sorry there's only this one mass vlog for the final three performances, but I already explained why that was and yeah, I'm just I'm very grateful. And so I will talk to you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.